Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I'm going to teach you how to tear collage paper without white edges. Now you may think that I've taught you this before, how to tear and eliminate white edges, but today I want to teach you something different. Today I want to teach you how to tear with edges that are a different color from the paper that you have in your hands. Now how do we do that? We have to create specific papers for this effect. I will create yellow paper so that when I tear it, it has pink edges. And that makes a beautiful effect when I'm tearing flower petals, for example. So, in order to make this work, you've got to have some very specific materials. You've got to have a pad of rice paper, golden fluid acrylics, a gel plate, a brayer, a paintbrush, and a bucket of water. I am going to show you this technique and if it piques your interest and you want to give it a try, you know you can purchase all of the art supplies from my tutorial tidbits on my Amazon shopping page and that link is always below this video. So let's go check it out. Welcome back. So today I'm going to use teal and gold golden fluid acrylic paints. I've got a really old yucky brayer. Um, I've ordered a new one, but it's not here yet. I've got my well-loved gel press gel plate, and I've got a, um, a nice big soft-tipped paintbrush, and somewhere around here I've got a bucket of water. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take my, uh, I've got a few sheets of rice paper from a very specific pad of paper that I like to use, and that is on my Amazon shopping list. The link is below. Uh, this is a Sumi sketch pad of rice paper. It is smooth on this side and it is rough on that side. So the smooth side is always the side that is going to go down onto the rice onto the gel plate. You don't want to use the rough side of the rice paper onto the gel plate because it will stick. But this smooth side will not stick and it will peel all the paint off of the plate. And so this is my favorite paper to use for this technique and it is one of my favorite papers to use for the gel plate in general when I'm using rice paper for sure. So first I'm going to give myself a solid smooth gold print on the front side or the smooth side of that rice paper. So I'm going to, I could get more um, uh, creative with my front side. I could use stamps and texture plates and uh, stencils and layer and layer all in golds and shades of gold, but I'm going to keep this simple and just do it in two plain colors. But please understand that when I make my papers, I layer, 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 layer. So I'm going to start with that print of the metallic gold. So I'm going to roll that out on my gel plate with my very squeaky brayer that I need to definitely get rid of. Okay, and then I'm going to take that smooth side down. I'm going to press and just lift a solid print of that gold. So what is happening here is that the paint is sitting up on the top surface of the rice paper. It's a very thin layer. It's not soaking through. It's just on the top surface. And that's what happens when you use the gel plate. So now I'm going to take that gel plate out of the way. And I'm going to take my second color, which is my teal. And I'm going to get my water bucket. And I'm going to flip this paper upside down and I am going to soak wet teal paint all through the back side of this paper. So I'm adding water and I'm just brushing it. I'm adding lots of water and I'm soaking it through the back side of that print. So what happens when I add a lot of water is that this paint is going all the way through the core of the paper. It is not sitting up on top like the gel print did. It is soaking all the way into the core of the paper. And what is this going to do? Well, this is going to mean that when we tear this paper, we're going to have teal blue edges. So I've soaked it through. It's very wet and you can see that the gold is still on the other side. So when this dries, I'll lift this up. When this dries and I'm going to put the, the studio desk fan on it, when we tear this, we're going to have gold with teal edges. So I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry and I'll be right back. 
So while I was waiting for the uh, gold and the teal to dry, I also made a second sheet that is uh, purple, but it picked up some of the gold that was left over on the gel plate, and I painted the back with green gold. So now that my trusty studio fan has sped the drying process on these, because who wants to wait for paint to dry, um, you can, uh, I can show you when you tear, you're going to have your gold paper, and you're going to tear it up at an angle so that you get the blue edge. So now you've got gold collage paper with blue edges when you tear it, which is really a nice effect. Here again, the blue edge on the gold paper. Thick or thin, here it's a thick edge and here it's just a more thin, a more thin subtle effect. And then on the, um, the purple piece. And the color combinations that you use on these will be interesting. Um, what you do on the back versus what you do on the front, whether it's light, dark, or dark light, or similar. Um, you have to play with the combination of colors. But here's my, um, my um, permanent violet with uh, green uh, gold on the back. And I'm going to tear that. Tear it to have a large green edge so that's kind of cool so the the uh, violet with a bold green edge or I can tear it in a more subtle manner and get a thinner green edge so these are pretty cool effects um, something to add to your repertoire um, something to uh, help you with your creative tearing of pieces and overlapping and over layering so there you've got three colors together this is kind of neat so you've got your purple with your green edge on your teal that may look interesting when you layer it in your collage process or <clears throat> i don't know if it'll show up this way as well probably not as much but or like that so layering gluing together combining techniques thank you for being here and happy friday <laughs>